Hello everybody, in this video, I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $123,743.67. In the past year, I am up $54,118.99. Year to date for the year 2024, I am up $31,524.16. Today was a green day for me. During the day, I was up $856.30. After hours, I am up $2,645.41. So up over $3,000 today. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling SoFi $11 covered calls. These expire November 22nd. My total return $448. I'm selling Amazon $190 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $408. I'm selling Delta Airlines $55 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $572. I'm selling Disney $105 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return, $135. I'm selling Target $145 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return, $160. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $1,603. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return $550. I have Disney $70 calls. These expire December 19th, 2025. My total return $4,401. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $194.15. My average cost, $188.27. My total return, $1,764.56. I have 6,400 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $10.66. My average cost, $5.70. My total return, $31,754.05. I have 200 shares of Target. Target is at $149.50. Oh, interesting. Sorry, my Robinhood is like bugging out right now. My average cost is $149.41. My total return, $17.50. I have 400 sorry I have 400 shares of Delta Airlines Delta Airlines is at fifty seven dollars and forty six cents my average cost fifty four dollars and eighty six cents my total return one thousand forty two dollars this is a margin account my margin total is one hundred six thousand eight hundred fifty dollars and ninety seven cents my margin used is sixty one thousand $89.12. My options collateral is $10,000. This gives me $35,761.85 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $56,789.22. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.05%. The daily interest I'm paying is $10.10 and I'm borrowing $1,000 of margin interest free. So green day today, which is surprising because in the beginning of the day, I was actually red. However, from there, it just kept on going up and up throughout the rest of the day. So it went from red to green today in my portfolio. 
And after hours, as you can see, it's up even more money after hours. Now, something of note today is that SoFi, one of my biggest positions, reported earnings today. And they actually beat their expected uh, EPS. So if we scroll down here. Oh my goodness, did I go too far? Okay, here we go. So yeah, earnings, they reported in the morning. The estimated was four cents per share. The actual was five cents per share. So they beat on earnings. They beat on EPS. So I did read an article, or rather, I'll read an article right now about it. Here's an article from Yahoo Finance. It says SoFi Technologies beats quarter three estimates, raises full year revenue guidance. So it sounds like good news. SoFi Technologies reported its third quarter earnings on Tuesday, exceeding both revenue and earnings per share estimates while raising its full year revenue guidance. So far, all good news, right? Having increased 30% from $537.2 million in Q3 2023, SoFi announced total net income of $697.1 million for the third quarter of 2024 versus a deficit of $266.7 million in the previous year. Net income for the quarter was $60.7 million. Reflecting a 30% annual growth, adjusted net sales came in at $689.4 million. Again, more good news, more news about growth, how it, I mean, the numbers are increasing as we, you know, go on. Year after year, it went from a company that wasn't even making money, really, to finally, I made a video on the day that it finally reported its first ever positive EPS numbers. Um, but yeah, it, it's come a long way. Now we can see it keep on growing year after year, which is amazing. Up from 39% a year earlier, the company's technology platform divisions and financial services accounted for 49% of adjusted net revenue driven by a move towards capital light fee-based income structures, revenue in these divisions climbed by a combined 64%, up from prior expectations of $2.43 billion to $2.47 billion. SoFi revised its full year 2024 projection to now reflect adjusted net income between $2.535 billion and $2.55 billion. Strong success was ascribed by CEO Anthony Noto to constant growth, product innovation, and SoFi's brand building activities, which drew more members and customers to the platform. During the quarter, SoFi attracted 756,000 new subscribers, increasing the overall count to 9.4 million, a 35% annual growth over year. Imagine gaining 35% growth in the subscribers. More and more people are using SoFi. <laughs> um, I personally use SoFi for my checking and I haven't, I, mean, I still haven't switched. I'm still using it. So more people are joining the platform with personal loan originations at a record $4.9 billion and SoFi's lending unit showing overall net income of $396.2 million, up 14% year over year in Q3 2024. The technological platform of the corporation gained 160 million enabled accounts, a 17% rise from the year before. Third quarter net interest income for SoFi was $431 million, a 25% annual increase over year. A mix towards lower yielding secured loans caused the company's net interest margin of 5.57% to drop somewhat from 5.99% in Q3 2023. Looking forward, SoFi projects modified EBITDA for 2024 to be between $640 million and $645 million, a rise from previous projection of $605 million to $615 million. I'm reading this article and as you can see, it's all good news. I mean, I guess except for the drop in the margin for here, but other than that, I mean, there's so much signs of growth in the company. More people are using SoFi. I mean, 
they're making more money. So a lot of good news from this article. However, if we actually look at how SoFi performed today, as you can see, today was a red day for SoFi. It went down 6.52% during the day. Overnight is recovering a little bit, up 1.53%, but overall, a red day. And I don't know, maybe the expectations were sky high from investors. I, I, I don't know. But according to the article, it beat expectations, right? People had expectations and so fine beat their expectations. I don't know. I don't understand what the point is. But anyways, um, I might invest even more now into SoFi. And the thing is, my portfolio is so heavy into SoFi already, but it's for a good reason. I mean, I see every earnings report, they report that they're growing and growing and growing. I mean, and this is no different. This is no different. Even in the earnings today from this morning, there was plenty of good news. So yeah, I, I still am invested in SoFi and I'm planning to invest even more at this point. The fact that there was so much good news and it went down, I think this could be an opportunity for me to buy more. I, I just love the stock. Now it's already high from when I first bought it. I look, my average cost only $5 and 70 cents. So back when it was like $5 and something, that's like the average cost of my shares. Now it's $10 and 65 cents. So that's almost double what I got it for. Uh, my average cost that is. Um, so buying more will bring up my average cost, but man, I can see it growing more from here. And I think I read somewhere today that, um, one place even changed their price target from $12 to $13 for SoFi. According to Robinhood, um, let me scroll down. The fair value, according to the research report, is $13. Right now it's at ten dollars and sixty-five cents. A lot of people think it could go up to thirteen. So I think I will be buying more, especially if it goes down tomorrow. If it hits less than ten dollars, if it goes back to into the nine dollar range, oh my goodness, that's a huge opportunity for me. Now, of course, this doesn't guarantee any. It's not like I could tell the future, right? But this is what I believe in, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm basing it off of the news that I see, the earnings reports that I read, a lot of good news for SoFi. So I'm, I think I might invest even more into this. So I'm at the highest I've been this year, averaging up to 124K. If we, if we, um, you know, if we round up, I'm basically at 124k right now, which is wow. I, my expectations have been exceeded. I didn't think that I would get this far in this year. I would have been happy to reach 120. That would have been amazing, which I did. I did reach 120, um, and I was very happy when that happened. But now there's still well, it's the end of October, so I guess two months left until the year ends. We'll see where I end up, but at this point. I'm thinking it's possible I could end up at 125k or more uh, by the end of the year. Maybe. Maybe I'll hit the 125k mark. 130 is pushing it. I don't think I'll reach 130. That's a bit high. I would be very happy if I do. I would be very happy if I reach 130 at the end of the year, but for now, man, I don't I don't even know what to believe anymore. Um things have been going so well for me this year. Um up you know, 34.18% year to date. If you compare that to SPY, the year to date for SPY, 23.63. So up about 10% more than SPY year to date. Of course, if you look at leverage ETFs like uh, SPYU, this is four times leverage, right? So I, I, I'm not being this because this is four times leverage, but uh, regular spy 
I, I have that beat. I didn't for a while. And a lot of people were questioning, you know, you do all this work just to not beat the returns of Spy. Well, it finally paid off, so I'm happy about that. There's no telling what could happen now, though, but I'm really glad that things have turned out well for me so far this year. And I'm excited to see where it's going to take me next. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. Like I said, SoFi reported so many good news, but it went down. A little confusing to me, but I see this as an opportunity to buy even more. Because this inspires even more confidence for me in SoFi. All right, that's pretty much it for this portfolio update. If you guys like this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll keep on making more of these videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.